All right, Daf Kufnun Gimel. This is Monday's Daf. Picking it up three lines from the top of the Yomid. Ahu de Konomine. So Ashchid Meira not only wrote down in his will that he wanted to give it to a certain plenty, but he also made a Maisa Kinyan. And then later on he got better. So now the Shiloh was, wrote it, he made the Maisa Kinyan. At this point, is there even Shaykh Chazara, even though he got better, do the regular rules of Shchid Meira apply? Also, look at Ravuna, and Omar Ravuna said to him, My Yavid what can I do for you? Delay Aknis Kinimaknu Inchi. You didn't do it the normal way. In other words, the normal way for Shchid Meira is to simply just to be Suvin Masurin by saying it. If you go ahead and you make the Maisa Kinyan and you do the will, you do all these extra things, then you're clearly not taking advantage of the rules of the Shchimera, and therefore you cannot be Chazer afterwards. Take a look at the Rosh Bam over here. The Rosh Bam does kind of a Sikum over here, the whole Sugya. Because we're going to see in the Gemara shortly that we pass in like Shmuel. So from yesterday's Sugya, if you do a complete Matna Shchimera, you're not Mashai or anything, but you do a Kinyan also, so then you have this idea of Lo Yadana Ma'idanba, like Shmuel said, and you don't know if you're working with the Shtar or you're working with the Amir of the Shchimera, and therefore you don't get it because it could be you're working with the star and then and therefore it wouldn't work Achermisa. Unless, of course, you wrote the Nusach in the Shtar, you wrote the Kinyon Amino Moisif al Matanta that we saw yesterday, and then you're clearly using that Kinyon as a Yipui Kayach. And that's all provided that the Shchimera does Takadai. But if he's Omad, then it's Chazer because he's doing the whole thing, Machmas Misa. So it's almost like that unspoken Tanai that he doesn't mean to give it if he gets better. But if it would stay as a Matna Shchimera and there's no Yipui Kayach, then if it's Omad, he will be Chazer. There is a shtickle from the Stipler in Simon Nun Aleph that discusses why is it that when a Shchimera is Omad, that it is Chazer. And you can understand it too ways. Number one, because the Matana wasn't Chal yet, right, it only happens when he dies. So Kolzman, he doesn't die and he gets better. It never actually kicks into gear. And the other reason is because there's also an Umdana, like a Tznai, that he never meant to give it if he does get better. He only meant to give it because he was dying. And the Stifler shows how both of these reasons are necessary for the Halachas and the Gemara. Okay, but now let's go right there. Ha'hi matanta da havikosa b'mechayim uvamavis. The wrote kind of a Nusach here where he said, I'm giving it to you b'chayim uvamavis, in life and death. So now the question is, which one is the Iker? Does he want to get mechayim and therefore should be like a matanas bari? Or is me bemavis like a matna shchemera? So Rav Amar hari kamatna shchemera. The ikker is the death part of it. Shmuel Amar nara hari kamatna shbari. Rav Amar hari kamatna shchemera because me the cost of bemavis achar misa komerle and therefore it's a matna shchemera. Ah, he said vai the cost of b'chayim. He just meant simen ba'alma d'chayi. You don't talk that way. You don't talk about death as the Rosh Bam says. You don't want to be tiftach pel satan. Shmuel Amar hari kamatna shbari because me the cost of b'chayim because the ikker is the fact that he wants to give it while he's still alive. So mechayim komer. I have had the cost of bemavis. That's only because command Amar me'atavad oilam. He only used an expression of mavis to show the how permanent it's going to be. But really the ikker was the Mechaim, it was like a matnas bari. In reference to that Rashbam that quoted the idea of Al Tiftach Pel Asatan, Rabbi Razner said over an interesting kasha from Ritzu Pesach, Frank, in the Hartsvi and Simon Kufyud Gimel, why is the Nusach of our Birchas Hagoimel, Hagoimel Lechayavim Tevim? People who are Chayev, Chayra, to say that we're Chayev, is Al Tiftach Pel Asatan. And Ritzu Pesach says it might be telling a machlek is between the Mogan Avram and Rav Yaakov Emden, because there's a question whether a Kotan makes a Birchas Hagoimel. Mogan Avram says he shouldn't make a Birchas Hagoimel because he can't say Chayavin. He looks at Chayavin as literal, and, and since the Kotan is not a Chayav, for his actions yet, he can't be Chayavin. But if Yaakov Emden says, come on, that's not Chayavin, it just doesn't mean he is Chayav. It's a general expression about the general nature of Chayavin, and it's Lavdafka. So therefore, like that Rav Yaakov Emden, it wouldn't be so schwer to say, to Fich Pel for saying Hagoimel, Chayavin, etc. Amri Nehar Doi, Hilchas HaKavosi Derav, we pass like Rav, but the Iker, when you say Chayim and Mavis, the Iker is the Mavis, and therefore it will be I'm a Rava. Rava now says, right, You put the Mem in there. It's not just Bachayim of a Mavis, but it's Mechayim. Then it will be Kani. It'll be Kani right away, like a Matnas Bari. So I'm a Mamer. Let's tell us a Kavasa de Rava. We don't pass again like Rava. I'm a Lera Vashi la Mamer Pshita. It's Pasha. We don't pass again like Rava. Because Rava Lechayra was saying the same thing as Rav said. And the Amri Nardoi Hilchas a Kavasa de Rav. It's Pasha. We don't go with Rava. Because I'm a Lera Vashi la Mamer Pshita. The Amri Nardoi Hilchas a Kavasa de Rav. So for Shtetzach, if you're passing like Rav, you can't go like Rava. So because in the Kasha, we don't see any difference from Bechaim and Mechaim. We're thinking that they're the same. But the Gemara now says the distinction because Mavatim and Mechaim Moedi Rav. There might be a chilik in those expressions, Kamash Mulan. Therefore, a Mamer tells us that that's not the case. Ahuda also like a Meidur of Nachman Lin Nahar Doi. Someone had one of these kinds of Chaim and Mavis expressions, and now they came to ask a Shiloh whether or not can he be Chaiser. Shadri like a Meidur of Yirmiyah Barava Le Shumtamia, but Rav Nachman didn't want to make a psak and sent him to Rav Yirmiyah Barava in Shumtamia. Omar and Rav Nachman explained because Hocha Asr Shmuel here in Nahar Doi. This is Shmuel's town. So Hechi Navi Kavasi Rav. I can't pass him like Rav. 
Therefore, if you want to get that kind of psaka, you have to go somewhere else. Ahi, the Asoy Lekamei there was a woman who had such a tzava, and in that Nusach it wrote also Chaim and Mavis, and she came to Rava because she wanted to be Chayzer. So Avalei Rava Kishmaitse, but Rava paskin for her, like the way he holds, that she can't be Chayzer. So she was not too pleased because she wanted to be Chayzer. So Avi Katar delay, she was nudging him consistently because she didn't get the psaka she wanted to hear. So Amr Lehi, finally, he relented. So he said to her, Papa Breder of Chanan Safra, he told the cipher, Zil Kosovla, write for her what she wants, but also put a line then in there that people should know that I don't really mean it by saying, Vekosovba, Seicher Alein Oimata. This is a halacha you may remember that a Seicher, an employer, can hire people, but he can trick the first ones into working for him. But this was there as a remez to the future Dayanim who would look at the Ishtar should see that he doesn't really mean it. But she hopped to that. So Amra, she, she, she was very upset. She said, Litava Arbe Atuye Komatisli. Your, you, Rava, your ship should sink, your boat should sink, because you're being matim, you're trying to deceive me. So when the Talmidim heard that, I'm Shinhu Lemane de Rava Bamaya, they soaked Rava's clothing in water because they wanted to make sure that the Klola shouldn't be Miskayim on his actual boat, but just on the on the clothing. But But still, the ship still sunk. And here's where the Rashbam says that It's not just by Birchis Hedyet, it's even a Klola of Hedyet. Rav Pini Gross said that this could be the first half of the story that's finished in the Gemara and Baruchas by Bar Hedya, where Rava actually had his ship sunk, and that could be the Hemshech of this story here. So, Mishnah, like Kosov Bosh Shchimer, I'll you, Shchimer did not write whether he was a Shchimer. So now it's a little unclear. Who Amar Shchimer Haisi? He says, I. I I was a shchivmer when I wrote this. Therefore, now that I've gotten better, I can be chayzer. But there's no proof to that. The hainimer and the recipient says baria yisa, and therefore you can't have it back. There's no backsies. So tzarich lahavi raya shchivmer raya. So the nice and has to bring a raya that he was a shchivmer rab b'shas ma'isa. Diver rabbi meir chacham ameirim hamaisi mechaver all of her raya. No, the opposite is true because in this case the nice ain't still has the property in his rishus, and therefore it's the recipients who are the mitzi, and therefore they are the ones who have to bring the raya. Zok the gemara huma tante davi kosiv ba kad havi kotzer verami ba arse. So in this Shtar Matana, it was written that he was sick and lying in bed when he wrote this, but it doesn't have the ice fear that he died from this. He doesn't also write that he died from this illness. So in other words, a guy who's very sick who writes this, but if he gets better and then the next day gets hit by a bus, that's not going to say it will, it will no longer be a Matana Shchiv Meira because he got better. He had to have died from that same illness, and we don't have any riot to that effect. Turning over Tomit Beis, Omer Rabba, Hare Meis, Hare Kivrei, Mechia Chalav. Lamaisa, the Nisin, is now dead. So we don't have to be cheshish that maybe he was better and then hit by a bus, we can assume he died from that illness because, as Rosh Baum explains, there is a chazaka de hashta. Applying a chazaka de hashta is not so posh. You usually need to have tarti la reyes, uh and that's how the Rabbi Yain explains now what Abaya is going to argue with. Amr le Abaya, Hashda, is it, you could really say it's a chazak and Hashda, umasfina shuruban la abed. Usually, why a boat, where the rive of Sfina, that are in that kind of a matziv, taka do sink. But still, nice to know chumre chaim, chumre mesim. If there's an Ashish Kayan who wants to know if she can continue to eat truma, she can't because we have to be chayshish for the chaim, chaimer that maybe he died. But at the same time, there's chumers in the other way that if he's still alive. Chaylin, shurev chaylin lechaim, but still, a chayla that most people who get sick, taka do heal. So, so they call Shekin, shouldn't we certainly apply the Chumras of the Mechayim to them, and therefore you are going to say that the Matana won't be a Matana of a Matana Shechiv Mirah? So how can Rabba say that the Chazok of the Hashta, that he's now dead, says that he died from that illness? Omer Huna Bredur Yeshua, come on, Ozla Shmaita, the Rabba, who's Rabba going like? Rabbi Nassim. He's going to make this Machlaikis between Rabba and Abaya, really totally in the Machlaikis Tanayim. De Tanya, me might see me at me. Who takes the moment from who? Who might see me at Dan Bele Raya? The Naisain takes it from the Makabal without any Raya. The Hain ain't might see that's Divir Rabbi Yaakov. This is talking about this kind of a situation. This is where we don't know if it was a Matanas Shchivmeira or not. But Rabbi Nosson Omer, this is what we're going to say is like going like Rava Im Barihu. If the Naisain is now healthy and he wants to be Chayzer, so then I'll love Lahavi Raya. Then I'll love Lahavi Raya Shai Shchivmeira. He has to now bring a ride that he was a Shchivmeira at the time when he wrote it. But Im Shchivmeira. But if now he's a Shchivmeira, I'll land Lahavi Raya Shibarihu. So then the Makablim need to now bring a Raya that he was a Bari when he gave the Matana because right now he had that Chazaka Dehashda. Pick it up from here tomorrow.